We are at war. The Republic is at war. Well, sure, yeah, he's at war and he's supplying the wherewithal, the arms for that war for the very enemy that he denounces. A shocking truth is unfolding. America has been arming ISIS. Just hold that thought. America has been arming ISIS. That's the context in which you need to understand all of this. America has been arming ISIS. The idea that the West is actually fighting a war against ISIS is beyond ridiculous. What has happened in Paris is us. We are responsible through our corrupt governments for all of these policies, and even if these individuals who carried this out are not directly working for Mossad, CIA, ISIS, Al Qaeda, all the same thing, even if they did this organically of their own volition, believe me, that is exactly what our so-called governments want. That is what the policy that we've been fostering over and over. So what we really need to do is start realizing the fact that we are ISIS, and the reason why our corrupt, treasonous governments are carrying out these policies is because they do not represent us. The French, the British, the Americans, and the Turks have all supplied those who have kept ISIS going. It should be patently obvious to anybody that it is the West that has created this monster. ISIS is a creation of the United States. We know that from official sources of the US military themselves, uh, declassified documents from the Defense Intelligence Agency. There is no war on terror. There is a war that is being waged using terrorist proxy groups, and they are being used against uh, nation states who are resisting US and uh, Israeli hegemony, and they are also being used as a means of disciplining uh, the workforces in Europe. You now have uh, terrorist attacks being committed by terrorists funded, armed, and trained by Western intelligence agencies. Cameron has ignored everything that Blair was told. Cameron knows all that. I mean, is this man serious? Is he a serious human being? We really need to ask that. Or is he just this kind of verbose sociopath as he comes across now as with his ludicrous policies? Your pain is our pain. Your fight is our fight. It is truly incredible that uh, we listen to anyone, whether it's Francois Hollande or uh, Obama or any of these other puppets, as if anything they says has any merit whatsoever. There is no moral authority at all in the West. When these people get up, they are an embarrassment to all of us who have an, a functioning brain and a heart. These people are traitors, whether they come from France or whether they come from Britain or America. Dumas, in, uh, in an interview on French television, said that, that he was, uh, happened to be in England and he was invited in to see people in the government and asked if he would like to take part in a project they had. And that project was an attack on Syria. I just got this memo from the Secretary of Defense's office that says we're going to attack and destroy the governments in, in seven countries in five years. We're going to start with Iraq, and then we're going to move to Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and Iran. The French government is now attempting to drum up support for more military intervention in Syria. And what they want to do is they want to get in on the game. The game is almost lost. The Russians have routed much of the Islamic State. You now have Islamic State militants coming into Europe. The entire policy is intended to create havoc in the Middle East. And it is extremely important that people around the world begin to fully comprehend that these policies that are being carried out in the Middle East are actually not failures. I'm getting sick of hearing so-called experts talking about geopolitics and how America is failing to learn from its mistakes and all of this nonsense. These are not mistakes. Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Turkey, Jordan, ourselves, Britain, France, all fund, train, support, and ultimately are responsible for these monsters running around in their latest branded name, ISIS, which I will repeat a third time stands for Israeli Secret Intelligence Service. It has to stop. And in my view, it will only stop when people force their governments to stop. Now, how that is done, I can't really say, but that certainly is the only solution that is left to us now. Together, we will defeat these terrorists.